So now in Primavera, we will see like how to create a layout in activity. So I am in activities window. Here you can able to like customize the columns. So here we have this kind of columns that I have customized myself by going to columns and I have chosen something like here. Okay, so we can able to go for customizing the column by going to columns and after here you can able to find everything. For example, if you want the financial period values, you can able to go from here and you can able to choose everything. So I am just going for earned value where we can able to have this kind of things. Okay. So if you want to do any modification in this column, you can able to do it. Uh, and later you can able to go for saving as a template. Or we can call it as layout. So I'm just clicking default. This is what default looks like. But in general, we also have many things. For example, we also have calendar and critical. So duration type, estimated weight. So we have added some columns to the like layout. And now I'm just going to click apply. Now after clicking apply, we can able to see all those uh, new columns also here. See now calendar also available, critical, duration type, estimation, weight, everything. So now we can able to like save this layout. So for that, you can just go to layout and then save. So now it is like uh, directly saved. If you want to save as a new layout, you can just go for save as and you can able to put the layout name. So new layout and you can able to select the user, current user, a project. Okay. If you have any like a project, you can able to put the project over here. Otherwise, we can just go for current user directly. No need to select all those things and I'm just going to save. Now this is we have new layout. Now if you want to just go back to the uh, layout, you can just go for layout and then open. In open you will be having global layout and also you will be having admin layout. So admin layout, this is what I have created now, new layout. But so by default it will be having classic schedule layout. So I'm just opening classic schedule layout. And uh, where we have saved all those things actually. So it should be like a default. If you want like a default columns, then right click. You can just go for column and you can just click default. When you click default, so all the unwanted columns will go away. Default columns only will be there. Now I'm just going to click OK. See after these columns we can't able to see here. Now I'm just going to save it. So so just go to layout and then you just click save. This is like control S directly. If you want to save in a new layout name, then you need to go for layout. Layout, save as. So I'm just going for another project. Uh, for example, this one that we have uh, store period performance also. So if you want uh, some particular global layout, you can go for so layout open and then here I have like uh, uh, this kind of things. For example, I'm just going for a earned value analysis directly and I'm just going to click apply and then close it. Now we are in earned value analysis layout where we will be having original duration, uh, baseline uh, labor unit, budgeted unit actual unit, a completion unit and everything related to the earned value management. So resources, roles, cost performance index, schedule performance index, everything. So this is what the layout means. And if you want, you can just go back to the default layout of classic schedule layout, apply and then close it where you will be having like uh, this window and then a Gantt chart and also detail.